I wanted to do something a little bit different and quirky with avocado. Today I've created avocado caviar. Seems so wacky. Space food. This better be freaking worth it. <laughs> and I wouldn't run home and cook this. It looks beautiful, isn't it? But looks could be deceiving. <laughs> Today, we're here to try each other's avocado dishes. And yes, that is why I'm wearing an avocado coloured shirt. We're all going to try each other's dishes and then we're going to give them a score out of 10. And the dish that comes out with the highest score is the winner. Yo yo! I love avocados, but I grew up eating avocados as dessert. My name is Morgan Hipworth. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I own my own bakery called Bistro Morgan. I've been cooking since I was seven and I also make my own food content across social media. Smashed Avocado is an absolute institution. Every single cafe you go to, it's on the menu. I don't really like my avocado smashed too much. I like it big chunks. That's my avo. We want something exciting, something that pushes the boundaries. I don't think the regular smashed avo is going to cut it today. Bring on the avos and let's smash this. So today I'm creating an irresistible savoury avocado cheesecake. I really wanted to challenge the other chefs to rethink what savoury food looks like. So the first step of my avocado cheesecake is to make the base. We are going to be using some normal white bread, cut into circles and then toast until golden brown. Then after that, we're going to make a really creamy, delicious avocado mousse. And to do that, we'll be using avocado, lemon, parsley, salt and pepper. Whiz it all up into a blender until it's completely smooth and creamy. So to layer the cheesecake, we're going to start with the toasted bread base. Then we're going to add the avocado mousse, the whipped feta, some toasted pine nuts, some chili oil, and some thinly sliced avocado. Then we're going to garnish it with a savory twill, which is just deep fried rice paper, plus an edible flour. Look at all of those layers and that beautiful creamy center. Whoa! Mate, this looks fancy as all hell. Yes! I feel like I'm at a high tea. I'm sitting there with my ladies and we're going to have a snitch and bitch while we eat this smashed up for breakfast. Snitch and bitch, I'm a mean to my but Presentation, 10 out of 10. I like the idea of crackling. It's like a little prawn cracker. Delightful. Totally looks like a cake from a French pastry shop. Mm. Very well mm -hmm. seasoned. I really like the flavors that are coming through. There's like a spice to it, so we've got some chili there. Some pine nuts. Just appeared out of nowhere, some pine nuts, lovely. I know I don't like a very smashed avocado, but I think texture-wise, this works really well. I like the smoky flavor of the bread. I'm worried that the chefs really focus too much on avocado and forgotten about the other elements. It almost feels like the extra pine nuts are a bit of an afterthought. If I ate this whole thing at breakfast time, I would leave still with cravings. They really enhanced the avocado and made it the hero on the plate. Just don't think that they executed it as well as they could have. So I want to rate this one an 8 out of 10. I'd go 9 for this dish. It's pretty and it's delicious. Why not? Life's short. I'm naming this dish the Insta-famous Avocado, a 6.8 out of 10. For me, it's just too monotone in texture, but overall, I think the presentation was stunning. So today, I'm making a deluxe smashed avo plate. Instead of bread, let's use brown rice. So it's all about colors and texture. So the first thing that I do is pickle my onions, add the apple cider vinegar and then sugar, and then mix it all together and I do the same thing for my radish. I chopped up all the other ingredients. Now it's time to plate and we start with garlic dip, then add the brown rice, my pickled onion, the radish, the edamame, tomatoes, spring onion, oven roasted almonds, the dill and the mint. Cut the avocado in half and put it on the plate salt and pepper, drizzle with olive oil, and then as you eat it, you smash it and 
scoop all the deliciousness and hope you guys all enjoy it. Yoohoo! Wow, we have aesthetic goals on the plate. Loving this presentation. It looks very Melbourne. Kind of looks like a unicorn took a poo on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to smash it, so I think that's the vibe. Dun, 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 da, 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 smash the avocado. Now for the taste test. Oh, yum. Seasoned very well. I like the nuts for mm -hmm. some texture. And some bursting action from the little baby tomato. It sings with flavour. It's colourful. It's beautifully plated. It's like a, a rainbow of flavours in my mind. I just feel like it's a lot of avocado. Avocado overkill. I just don't, I don't see a need to have a whole avocado on it. There is this garlic sauce. It will blow your head off. Mm. You're okay? Don't, okay? No, no, it's fine. It's just like a lot of garlic. I think the garlic outshines the avocado a little bit. I would have maybe put some like toast or some bread or something. A bit of feta. The pickled onions. It just brings something light and tangy. I'm going to score this one a 7.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed this dish. I just would have liked to see a little bit more done with the avocado. An 8 out of 10. I'm going to name this dish. It's called the Green Goddess Bowl. I'm going to score 7.5 out of 10. However, I'm going to add an extra 0.5 because I really do see the value in it and I see how people would love it. So my dish today is a twist on an Eggs Benedict. I'm doing an Avocado Benedict with an Avocado Wasabi Hollandaise. It is going to be fire. So to start off with my dish, we want to make the most important element, the smashed avocado. So really simply, I'm getting one reed avocado. I am putting that in a bowl with some salt and pepper and I'm just gonna cut it in like a cross hatch formation and then a squeeze of lime. And then I'm taking a spoon and I'm gonna stir it and that's gonna make it nice and smooth. Now the next element that I am putting into the dish is a wasabi and avocado hollandaise. You get one lemon, egg yolks, and some salt. Pop them in a blender and blitz it until it emulsifies. Then I'm taking hot butter, pouring that through the lid of the blender. That's going to make it nice, thick, and creamy. Now to add the final touches, adding avocado in there, and then I'm going to add a fire kick with some wasabi. Now we're just going to do the final elements. I'm making a corn, which is dressed in ponzu and caramelized, and then I've got a poached egg. I am serving my eggs Benny on a English muffin, which is a traditional method. So I'm going muffin and then smash avocado, and then muffin and smash avocado. On top of that, I'm putting the ponzu corn, and then I am adding the poached egg. It's softly poached. And then on top goes the wasabi hollandaise. That is going to flood down like a waterfall and look delicious. And now to garnish it. I'm adding some furikake on top, which is Japanese seasoning. And my favorite, coriander. That's my dish. It has a bit of a Japanese style to it and I'm super excited to share it with the judges. Whoa! Dang! This looks pretty darn specky. Specky. Spectacular. So damn excited to tuck in. I'm going to taste each component individually and then we'll taste it together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. that's spicy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there is a lot of wasabi in that. Wow. Goes to like through your nose. <laughs> mm. I like the, the flavour. Definitely going on that Japanese vibes, I feel like. And then the avocado. There's wasabi in that as well. That dish has knocked my socks off. It's very intense. Look, it's too smashed for my avocado taste. I think we'll deconstruct it. Egg, put some corn. I'm... Oh. Can you see my eyes watering? Do we get that quintessential yolk porn? Let's see. Oh yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. The golden fountain of goodness. Poached to perfection. It's all kind of like one homogenous texture. I want to be nice! No, no, that's okay. <laughs> Everything's very soft. There needs to be some sort of crunch. <coughs> <laughs> if you love wasabi and you want that kick, Maybe then this is the dish for you. I commend the chef's ability to push the boundaries and do something <coughs> different.
different. <laughs> this level of wasabi is not for me. <laughs> it has gone up, it has tickled my hypothalamus, and it has come back down, and I feel like I've been born again, and I don't think I can take another bite. <laughs> This dish is called a roundhouse to the face because the wasabi knocks your face out. The roundhouse to the face for me gets a 7.5 out of 10. Instead of one of the English muffins, I would have done like a crispy rosti. Going to have to give it a 7 out of 10. I couldn't go any higher, unfortunately, no. Then I wouldn't run home and cook this straight away. Aesthetically, it looks beautiful, isn't it? But looks could be deceiving. <laughs> if I'm generous, I would probably go up to five and a half. Today I've created a caviar avocado with Mexican eggs. I created this dish because I wanted to do something a little bit different and quirky with avocado. Personally, I've never seen this technique done with avocado before. So first up, we need to make our avocado puree. So in a blender, we need to combine the avocado, chicken stock, cumin, coriander, sour cream, juice of one lime, salt and pepper, blitz it together until it's super smooth and then strain. Weigh out 200 grams of the soup and then mix in one teaspoon of agar agar powder. We're gonna bring the mixture to the boil and then allow it to cook for about two minutes. In a glass of cold oil, using a pipette, drop small droplets of your avocado puree into the mixture. As the avocado sets, they're gonna spherify and then set to the bottom. They'll clump together and then you need to drain them and rinse them in water. Add the chorizo to a pan and fry off over a medium heat until it's super crispy. To make our pico de gallo, combine the finely diced tomato, red onion, coriander and juice of a lime. Now it's time to plate up. We're gonna grab a piece of toast and then top it with the butter. Now we've got a bean reduction, which is some lovely black beans that we've cooked down with chicken stock, onion and garlic. Top that off on one side with pico de gallo and then on the other with your avocado caviar. Finally top it off with a poached egg your crispy chorizo, hot sauce, some coriander, and a drizzle of lime. Cut it open and just look at that yolky goodness. These guys better love it. Dang! This looks like an experience. Are they like little peas? It seems so wacky, and I actually have no clue what I'm eating. Now, Tommy! Yeah? This better be worth it. As you know, I had to pick up my kids. That's cool, right? And I came back for this, to just to film this. This better be freaking worth it. Space food. <laughs> what is it? Avocado caviar. Yeah. And that's quite a technique. Do we get that little fountain? Oh yeah, we do. Yeah. That's what I love. There's like a hundred different elements to this. Avocado caviar. And let me tell you how they taste. Mmm. Mmm. I'm getting like a beef soup kind of vibe. They disintegrate, but they don't pop. Mmm. <laughs> They're interesting. There's some saltiness. I can taste some acidity to it, but I'm not sure if I could taste the avocado. Great sourdough. I'm really liking this tomato salsa. It's really vibrant and delicious. My voice is going croaky because there's so much spice. <laughs> Black beans are the real winner of this dish. This is like a fun dish. Different layers of texture. Worth coming back for this, hey? Mm. It's totally worth it. Okay. <laughs> there is a lot of salt happening. So this is a near perfect dish and I love it. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It just needs a little more balance. I really admire what the chef has done with these little avocado pearls. But for me, there's just not enough avocado. For that reason, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. I would definitely give this a, a 9.5. The 0.5, I think I really would like to taste the avocado more. The winner of the Spanish Avo video is Morgan. Oh, hey, look at that. Pretty darn happy. Uh, put a lot of effort into this dish. I'm so glad that everyone else loves it too. You have come last. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I tried. Maybe I put in too much wasabi. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.